Hello and welcome to the final ever Cooking with the Cooks Cuisine for the Quarantine. This is our 40th episode, we hope you enjoyed the shows. Uh, in saying that, we have got a little video coming tomorrow morning, but it's not a cooking one, so this is our final ever cooking one. We're doing Sophie's favourites, and have you ever fancied a pie? And some of the pies you buy aren't that nice. Well, here's, we're just gonna knock together the cheatiest pie you've ever had. Ingredients, Sophie? Um, Short crust? Short crust pastry, um, chunky steak, an egg, and some flour. Some flour that we need if your pastry breaks up. Now, chunky steak. You can make this pie out of anything you want. And we've made a few in our time when, when we want something nice and quick and easy. You can make your own stewing steak, it's fine. But if you're buying a tin, spl splash out that extra bit and get M&S chunky steak. It works really well. Now we're gonna make it in two little pie dishes like this, uh, half each, enough for four. If you want to make it in a bigger one, feel free. So if you wanna crack that egg in there and whisk it up. So we're gonna get that gravy and all into that dish. And there's one. There's two. We're done? Right, pastry. Now, in fact, what I'm going to do is put an extra one in. Pass me that other tin over there. We're going to get it right, tops up right to the top. So, we've never used these tin for pies before, so didn't really know how much we needed. So just pop an extra bit in there, and the rest of it in there, so we get a nice thick piece of pie. Now you can part cut pastry on the bottom or blind bake some pastry to go on the bottom. We're just going to put pastry on the top today. So in terms of your pastry, cut a bit that's about the size that you want, peel it off, stick it on, press it down a little bit, like that. We're going to crimp this in a minute. So, and then take a knife and just whiz it around the sides. Get all that excess off. Right, and then with the fork. So if you just want to go around going like that with the fork. We'll do the second one. And then the oven's preheated. Ooh, let's fold this a bit. The oven's preheated to 180 fan. You need 100, uh, 200 non-fan. Just crimp those up. And then we're going to egg wash them and put them in the, in the oven. Come back in a bit when we've got the egg wash done. All the sides crimped down, so it's done a great job. She's just going to egg wash that. I've got the other one ready to go, already being egg washed. Just one thing before they go in, just put a little hole in the top, let all the uh, air out. We're going to put these in for about 20 minutes. We've got to make sure those crusts are golden brown and that the filling inside is piping hot. Uh, come back in 20, 25 minutes, see how we're getting on. See you in a bit. Bye. Right, welcome back. Uh, we've had 24 minutes. Uh, I think we're about ready. Let's get some out. Let's have a look. Oh, oh yeah, look at those. Brilliant. Right, one of them's leaked a bit, so it's all right, it's all good. Let's get this one off. Pop it on there. Look at that. Lovely, sort of homemade pie in 20 minutes. Let's get a nice portion out, nice and gravy. -y. Put it around there. Sophie will always pick off the rest of the crust. See if we can get this bit out. Oh. In fact, see if I can get more crust out in a minute. Right guys, we're gonna serve that with some, look at that, shall we put a bit more of this crust on? You've got some extra crust in there, haven't you? Okay, so that's that. We've got some green beans, excuse fingers. They are washed, we've got some carrots. Can you get me a spoon out, sir, please? A bit of mash. Look at that. And a nice bit, not that we need any of this because it's very gravy, of extra gravy over the top. Looks a bit lumpy, but it'd be fine. So there we have it, close up on that, please. Cheats pie, no problem, nice and easy. Um, that's it, cooking with the cooks finished. Uh, thank you for watching and we hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed making them. Uh, we are going to come back tomorrow morning, like I said, for a two minute video that's not cooking. So thanks all for watching. In the meantime, stay safe, stay indoors and... Keep cooking. <laughs> See you, bye.